you for the chance to talk about this sort of informal project or initiative that I started um, earlier this year. Um, and it really speaks to the strange moment that we're in right now with science and, and gamification and games for positive impact. Um, there is a ton of research where, where scientists have done little experiments to see, oh, can playing a game help you uh, recover from depression or uh, lose more weight or strengthen your relationship with your parents? Um, and they'll do one randomized control trial or they'll do one clinical trial, uh, and then that's it. And they publish it and they get their they get their publication and it's really sexy and cool because it's games research and they're like these normal, ordinary academic researchers who will do one thing on a game and they kind of go on to the next thing. And they've created this, this, basically this field of scientific literature that is just littered with these kind of one-off, two-off studies that could transform people's lives if they knew the research and if they knew practical ways to implement it. And uh, the controversy is, I think we should start getting that research out from behind the academic firewalls and telling people what's in it and letting them decide for themselves if it is a good intervention. So I got into a little bit of trouble uh, recently when I started very emphatically tweeting and blogging about a Tetris study, two trials done um, at Oxford University by tremendously gifted scientists who had an amazing theoretical background to support the hypothesis that playing Tetris within six hours of a traumatic event would minimize your chances of developing post-traumatic stress disorder. Specifically, playing Tetris within six hours after a traumatic event blocks your brain from forming visual memories that lead to flashbacks. And flashbacks is the hardest to treat symptom of PTSD, and it can lead to the most anxiety and distress. And they did two studies that showed this works, and they linked to you know, 50 other studies that explain the hypothetical, you know, the, the theoretical underpinnings. And uh, so you know, I think this is great. I think everybody should learn this technique, because if, God forbid, you know, something bad happens to you, you're in a car accident and you start having flashbacks. I've, I've had this experience myself um, where, you know, you're in an accident and you, you flash back constantly to it. If you can within six hours and you only have to play Tetris for 10 minutes to have the impact, um, you could help yourself. Um, but this is controversial because, well, it's only two studies. Don't tell people, don't promise people it might work, it might not work. It's true it might not work. Um, what if it prevents them from seeking proper therapy? Um, what, what if they think they don't need any assistance because they play Tetris so they're cured? I mean, there, there are some things to worry about, for sure. Uh, but I, I am now at the point uh, in, in my career where I feel like we have amassed enough